so why not come and explore the Paisley Bridge area while you are here? Take tea in one of the cafes, walk by the lovely River Nid and visit the many shops which offer a wide range of local goods. Paisley Bridge is situated in the heart of a very special landscape designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty in 1994 covering 603 square kilometres of land from Ellingstring to Offley and Fountains Abbey to Middlesmore. The landscape is dramatic and contrasting from the grand sweeping landscapes of Upper Nidderdale with its high fells, upland reservoirs and ether moorland to the gentler farmed landscapes of the North East. Stugfold Farm is on the Nidderdale Way and is an excellent centre for walking, bird watching, exploring neighbouring dales with their wealth of historical buildings and varied scenery, or just relaxing. The camping and touring area consists of two acres of flat grassland with easy access and wonderful views of the surrounding countryside and is equipped with electric hookup points. Nidderdale is the beautiful valley of the River Nid, flowing from the wild moorland of Great Wernside for some 20 miles to the gentler valley bottom. A spectacular limestone gorge hidden amid Nidderdale's lush green pastures. A great day out, near to many tourist attractions where virtually on the Nidderdale way and only a stone's throw from Harrogate, Skipton, Scarhouse Reservoir and Paisley Bridge. In the gorges, narrow paths and footbridges cross the steep sided ravine which is 20 metres deep in places. Depending on the weather, water rushes over large boulders, carving them into fantastic shapes. This is a beautiful day out. Alstein Gorge offers fun for all ages, whether it's a relaxing stroll, a camping holiday or adventure. Middlesmore, situated in Nidderdale in the Yorkshire Dales. Middlesmore is at the head of Nidderdale, an unspoilt village with cobbled streets leading to the church. From here you can see down the valley with breathtaking views along the Nidderdale Way. The Crown Hotel dates back to 1818, with some features going back to the 17th century. Early this century, it was a shooting lodge, and in 1988, the hotel became a public bar.
I have managed to find out one important thing about Middlesmore. That's the church was built in 1484. Scar House Reservoir and Dam. The workmen were paid one and a half pence per hour, which in today's money is just five pence. Work was carried out in all available daylight hours from 7.30 until dusk, with just half an hour for lunch. One man was killed during the construction of the reservoir. Stone for the reservoir dam was quarried from the two sites that can be seen on either side of the valley at Scar House. Steam excavators were used to dig out the trench. But when the digging became too hard for the machines, they resorted to hand drilling and explosives. Standard gauge wagons hauled by steam locomotives carried the rubble from the site. During the 19th century, Bradford thrived as a result of the Industrial Revolution. People flocked to the city to benefit from its growing prosperity. <laughs> 